Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to do a wet sold video and I'm going to start off um, with the Jello Jigglers. This sold for $29.99, free shipping. Now these are for uh, the month of March, so far I would have sold. These sold, I listed these Jello Jigglers and they sold within the hour. It was so crazy. I've been sitting on these for the longest time and I'm like, you know what? It's almost Easter. I'm going to put these up. And boy, they sold within the hour. And I uh, put uh, free shipping. So I'm sure that had something to do with it. Next item is a vintage sitting brown uh, trunk up elephant i got these a long time ago at an estate sale um, they've been up for about a year or so and they're not selling super fast i got like maybe five or six elephant different elephants at the time and they're slowly slowly selling but I took a best offer of this for $7.50. It's so cute. It's little. It's like two or three inches tall. Super cute. Okay, next is an independent trunk company red t-shirt graphic. This is um, a skateboarding shirt. So it's independent. And it has this detail on the back. It was really cool. Um, I've also had this shirt for a really long time. Just recently found it in the death pile. If anybody knows what a death pile is, it's what you thrifted and you just come home and stick it in the corner. And there it sits until you're ready to list it. <laughs> I found this and I'm like, oh, maybe I'll just list it. Because I was going to redonate it. And I said, well, if it doesn't sell, then I'll just redonate it. And it sold. It sold within, I think, two days. Let me see if I can get back to the there. And I sent the, the guy uh, had a question about measurements. So I sent him uh, the measurements. And I also sent him an offer of $18 and he took it. This next is a Tupperware yellow sugar container. Um, I also had this for a long time and just decided to list it. I took a best offer of $10 and this sold probably with, uh, within a week. I pick up some Tupperware. I used to pick up every Tupperware, but now I just pick up some Tupperware, certain items. Now this is a uh, like a Mary Madonna statue. Uh, it's made in Italy. Um, I took a best offer for eight dollars um, when I picked this thing uh this item up to pack it i noticed that the hands were broken off and so i immediately messaged the buyer and i said i'm sorry it's damaged i'll give you a full refund i said but i'll send you something uh free of charge that's similar so i sent her a uh a Mary, a Madonna um, ceramic planter that was vintage that I had up for $25. So I took it off my listing, put it in a box, mailed it off to her, and she was very happy. So, and I don't know how it got, this particular statue got broken, but it did. And yeah. But I was glad that I was able to think fast on my feet. 
And this is a Garfield and Odie Melamine Plastic Cup. I took a best offer of $5 for this. Um, I've had this for a long time. It's been uplisted for a long time. And I'm glad it sold for 5 bucks just to get it out of the pile. Okay. And this is a Haunted Genie Lamp Spirit. Um, I got this genie lamp for a long time ago for, uh, decor and, uh, I put it up as haunted because, you know, where things are happening in this room and I thought it was because of this genie and I put it up and it sold for $128.50. And what's funny about this is when it ended, this person uh, emailed me, messaged me, and asked if they would sell it to them for 200 bucks. And I'm thinking, that's not right. This person just won. I'm not going to, you know you know, delete this sale so this person can buy it. Or more money. I was. That's not ethically correct. So, boy, she really hounded me. She really wanted this, but um, yeah. So I sent this off. I sent it off real nice. Put it in a nice box with some trinkets, and so hopefully she's able to enjoy this this genie lamp. I'm going to keep my eye out for these genie lamps. Next item is a Dr. Rama t-shirt, Dr. Who, with a uh, bender from Futurama. This t-shirt also I've had for a long time, found in my death pile in the closet. And it sold for asking price $9.99 and that sold pretty fast after I listed it and this I've had this for a long time southern living at home uh, green flower pot with cover this sold for asking price $20 I've had this for a long time um, at least two years. I will not pick up this item again if I see it because it took forever to sell. So certain things teach you a lesson. This cute little skunk toothpick holder. This took a while to sell. Probably, I'd say about six months. And... That sold for full asking price of $10. So cute. This. This sold right away. This sold within a day. This John Deere green corduroy jacket. It was vintage. I took, let's see, I had it listed for $75. I took a best offer of $45. So that was a great find. I took a chance on it. I wasn't sure. It's usually close or something like this is a very specific buyer, but I was lucky to find that right away or sell it right away. Ugh, what is going on? And this vintage fisher price teaching clock uh sold for eight dollars it was actually um broken on the back on the back of the the wood part not the the clock itself but the wood part was broken back and i 
uh, put that in the listing and apparently they didn't mind. Eight bucks out the door. And here is a vintage Pyrex for quart 404 mixing bowl. This sold for asking price of $24. I used to have about five or six of these. Now I have one left. So they're selling slowly but surely. Um, I don't pick up Pyrex that much anymore, only if I know it'll sell certain certain ones but um i don't think i'll be picking these up anymore i've sold too many and it's just it's time to move on and sell something else now this scrub uh beauty shop puppy dogs sold for i think it was eight dollars so I've had this for a while. This took a while to sell. I'm glad it did because it's really cute. And it's size small. And small is really hard to sell. So I'm really glad that it did sell. Okay, next is another John Deere item. These are cupcake toppers. I was selling them. I had a whole bag of uh, like a hundred and 40 pieces. These um, toppers I have had for years, years and years, and I just decided to uh, list them. I sold one order at uh, 20 pieces for $6. And then um, a few days later, a lady came, messaged me, and she said, I'll buy all of it. You know, will you, you know, combine my shipping? And of course I'll combine shipping. So she bought the whole lot of the rest of them, 120 for $36. So I thought that was cool. I'm all, hmm, green, uh, John Deere. I guess green is in this season. Here we have a vintage fine toy black cat. 16 inch this kind of looks like the boo boo kitty from laverne and shirley it's super cute i'm glad it didn't stick around very, very long because i probably would have grown real fond of it and kept it but let's see this sold i took a best offer of 17 dollars just throw it in a poly bag and out the door it went Easy peasy. Okay, here we have a Lego uh, Stormtrooper 2001. A retired item. Um, new in box, never opened. Um, this I also had forever and saw. I saw it just sitting over there on against the wall. And I said, well, I'm just going to put this up. I'm going to put it at auction and whatever it sells for, it sells for. Um, so it sold for forty eight fifty five. So that's pretty good. And this is a vintage chopper from the nineteen thirties forties. Kitchen tool, wood handle. The handle was the paint on the handle was chippy. And I thought, oh, no one's going to want this. But I put it up anyway. And it, I took a best offer for $8.25. And this sold pretty fast. This sold within like maybe three weeks of me listing it. So that was pretty cool. Okay, I have a lot of these uh, still left. I have vintage aluminum shamrock jello molds. I'm selling them at $5 a piece. I've sold two so far at $5 a piece. So I still have some more if anybody wants them. Next. 
is a Barbie item. Vintage 1979 Mattel Beauty Barbie doll Afghan uh, dog brush. I sold this for $6. This took maybe about a month to sell. And I, was, I wasn't going to put it up, but I thought, well, eh, maybe somebody's looking for it. These lot of nine, 19 cookie cutters. I took a best offer of $8. And these I've had forever. These we got, I think, at the same time as all the cupcake toppers. I just decided to break them up into lot, different lots and just sell them and see if they sell. So far, I've sold two different lots so far. And I have this vintage Corningware six cup blue corn flour coffee pot. This sold for an uh, asking price of $20. Now, this pot was, I got it at um, a yard sale, I think in Merced, California. And it was, it had all kinds of like cooking grease and like kitchen yuck on it, like it was covered. Did a little, you know, easy off oven spray on it, let it soak in some, you know, hot water after I scrubbed it and came off looking beautiful, nice and clean. Sold for 20 bucks. Yeah, the people you know, overlook stuff like that. Like, can it be cleaned? Yeah, things can be cleaned. Like if you buy an ugly piece of Pyrex, it's got cooking junk all over it. Just hit it with some easy off cooking spray. It's like brand new. I bought this for three bucks and sold it for 20. Not too bad. Okay. It's another Barbie piece. Vintage Barbie doll uh, flippers for scuba. I sold these um, for $5. I took an offer. $5. These took about a month to sell. And this vintage tulip class is... I'm not sure if it was Libby or Federal. So I listed that that I did not know. And it was okay with that buyer because they asked for uh, $7 and I took it. So that's out the door. I bought it for $0.25 cents at a yard sale. Okay. These just sold the other day. Vintage set of two handmade knitted owl hot pads. Um, I've had these for about, about five months. And I took an offer of $10. Glad to see those have a new home. And last but not least, this is a local piece that sold. I took a best offer of $8. It's a um, it's a hand icebreaker uh, from the 1960s, a bar, a bar tool thing that you have to break up the ice. Um, we've been having, we had this sitting around the house for a while, listed it, put it up, and it sold right away. And this sold to somebody in the next town over. So that was great that it went local. All right, everybody. That is it. I have taken up enough of your time. I hope you enjoyed it. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you want, I'm going to put my eBay uh, link down below and check something out. If you see anything you like, shoot me an offer. All right, everybody. Have a great day. And I'll see you on the next video. Bye.